It's a very gentle nudging of that elbow so that your hand can wrap around the neck and maybe you find a moment to say, wow, in this constricted position, you know, I'm discovering new potential, right? I'm discovering the sensation of my uh, upper arm around my back, around my neck. Good. Release the arms and interlace your fingers behind your back. You place your right thumb on top for a moment and stretch the knuckles down and open your chest. Good. Bring some awareness into your throat. Yeah. Maybe you take a couple exhales with your mouth open as to symbolize the clearing of the throat. And they say when you clear the throat, it clears the path uh, to the heart. <sighs> And then gently switch your left thumb on top behind the body. And just see, how does that feel? Lovely. Release that bind and come into downward facing dog. Pedal your legs as you do, right? Take a walk. And maybe you can hear the rain outside. So as a reminder right, to the great mother, she's here, we're here. Good. Inhale, come forward into plank pose. Exhale, go back, downward facing down. Again, inhale into plank pose. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank pose. Hold plank for five, four, three, two, one. Downward facing dog, go back. Step your feet as wide as your mat and walk your hands back towards your feet and fold. Hold for opposite uh, elbows, or you can interlace your fingers behind your low back. And yeah. And we hold so much, right, in our shoulders and our neck when we're tense. And sometimes it takes a little binding, right, that actually gets us to unbind and to release. Get the circulation flowing. Okay, gently release your hands down to the floor, malasana. And lift your prayer in front of your heart. Right? And when we, when we chant, you know, jema, jema, we're calling out, like when we're not well, you know, when we need comfort, uh, you know, there's nothing quite like the, the hug of a mother that's the kind of um, calling out and chanting that we do. Good. So we let that begin with our chanting and let that radiate through our movement today. And we're calling out. Good. One more breath here. Use the muscles in your outer thighs to open the knees a little bit wider. <sighs> and then lift your prayer overhead. Strong length, strong heart, come up to stand. Sama stitihi, hands to the heart. Adjust your feet hip distance or closer. Good. And then even out. And all the sensations, balance out all the energies of your uh, body. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Stand up, reach your arms really high up, a little higher this time. Seal the palms, exhale, samastitihi. Big inhale. Good. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, big generous breath, yes. Exhale, fold. This time look forward, walk forward, downward facing dog. Come forward, plank pose. Bend the elbows, lower all the way down to the floor, all the way down, all the way down. Inhale, cobra pose, curl the heart. Exhale, roll the chest down, tap the forehead. Inhale, cobra, lift up. High or low cobra, either is fine. Exhale, roll down as if you were like so fluid. Last one, inhale, curl up, strong spine. Exhale, lower back down to earth. Tuck your toes, bend the knees, downward facing dog. Good. We do that again. Inhale, plank pose, right? If you have a vinyasa and you wanna do it, do it your way. Exhale, bend the elbows, half or all the way. Inhale into cobra or up dog. You're welcome to go there. Exhale, downward facing dog. Move your body like it knows exactly where to be in space. One more vinyasa on your own, your choice. Come forward, plank pose. And then cycle through, right, with this earnestness, with the sincerity of your devotion to your practice right now. Right? Let your body be the prayer that says, I am choosing to be here. Right? I am choosing to remain with observing my breathing. Right? And to do everything with all oh, my full heart. Good. And then inhale your right leg up and back. Step it forward between your hands. Lower your left knee down. Low lunge pose. Reach the arms up. Beautiful. Interlace your fingers behind low back. Place your right thumb on top and stretch your knuckles down as you curl the heart open, right? Cracking the front of your chest open, right? Calling out what is it that you deeply desire? What kind of comfort do you need right now? Call out with this pose. Release the hands down to the floor. Cycle through vinyasa. Inhale, reach your left leg. Step it forward, find low lunge on this side. And very sweetly lowering that knee down. Good. Feel a sense of pinning the outer hips towards one another, right? securing you in this shape. Bring your hands to interlace behind the low back. Place your left thumb on top. Good, and then reach the knuckles down as the upper arm bones corkscrew in towards one another, helping the heart release open right, to the future. Right? Positivity going forward. Final breath here. When you exhale, then lower the hands to the floor. Step back and cycle through optional vinyasa here. Beautiful, couple breaths in down dog. Okay. Where are you feeling the sensation and how can you comfort yourself, right? In this shape, the breathing becomes a little more challenging. 
So I invite you to turn on a ujjayi breath here, okay, constricting the back of the throat with a very gentle and soft audible breathing. So you too know, and you remind yourself with this breathing technique that yes, I am, I am aware that I am breathing. Look between your hands, please. Bend the knees and step between your hands. Fold the body. Good. Heel toe the feet together, bring the legs together. Good. Bend the knees, chair pose, Utkatasan. Good. Options, keep the arms straight up or interlace them behind the low back. Good. One more breath. Fill your lungs from the bottom all the way to the top. Exhale, fold, unbend the knees, fold. Let the fists fall away from the back. Good. Good, come back into chair pose, release the arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step your right leg to the back of the mat, high crescent lunge, inhale, lift up. Good. Can you use your exhale to help you settle into the shape of this pose? And when the sensation starts to arise, can you move towards it, right, and include it? Right, all of this practice is really training us on how to be uh, willing to accept the discomfort so that we can experience true joy. Good. Come into half archer. Bend your right elbow. Use your left hand to assist that uh, right hand. <laughs> Down the back. Good. And make any refinements in your body. Okay. Beautiful. Option to come into full archer if you would like. Take your left arm around the low back and reach those fingertips up. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. As we know and we practice all the sacred texts say, it, it doesn't matter, right? The fruit of the action doesn't matter, but the action matters. So bind yourself to the practice, not what the pose looks like. One more breath. Use your exhale to release the bind and float the hands down to the floor. Vinyasa. Right? Use this vinyasa right, to pump that blood to circulate through your whole body. When we bind, we are constricting the blood flow. And when we release the bind, we're allowing that flood right, of fresh oxygen to recirculate in the body. Very so healthy, very so healthy. <laughs> you heard it from me. All right. <laughs> Good. Big inhale. Let's open the mouth, exhale. Look between the hands, bend the knees, step or hop forward and fold. Bend the knees, reach the arms, chair pose, Utkatasan. Arms can stay up or they can interlace behind the low back. See if you remember which thumb was on top and switch it. When we practice switching the dominant hand around enough, you begin to forget which one is the funny one. That's kind of magical, isn't it? <laughs> and then forward fold, please. Unbend the legs and let the fist fall gently away from the body. Feel in this pose where the bind is restricting the circulation in your body. See your fingertips, the shoulder circumference the hamstrings, or maybe it's a little bit in your thinking, like you feel a little constricted in your thinking, and that's okay, right? Move towards that discomfort because soon we will release the pose, chair pose, reach the arms up, right? And allow that unbinding and release. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step your left leg to the back of the mat. High lunge. 
I think of the moon, like a crescent moon. This is crescent lunge, yes? So when you see that beautiful sliver of the moon in the sky, right? Good. And it's like easy to see with Hana, that beautiful sliver of the moon. Good. How good does it feel to practice? Let's come into half archer, bend the left elbow, assist with your right hand. If you're feeling a lot of intensity in your <clears throat> right leg, know that you can always unbend, take a breath, and then come back with your whole heart. Today we practice with all of it. Okay. And if you'd like to come into full archer, Wrap that, <clears throat> excuse me, arm around the low back. Okay, what if you have like this giant ball of light that lives in the center of your heart? Right, and it's so warm. And this practice shows us how to open that up so we can be of service to others. Right, so we can share this warmth and this light and this comfort. One more breath in. As you exhale, release the hands down to the floor and use a vinyasa to rinse that out. Right. Turn on the pump right, and circulate. Let your body distill and filter. Filter out the right, it's carbon monoxide that you don't need, carbon dioxide, whatever that thing, you know what I mean. And Bring in some fresh oxygen into the body. If you need a child's pose, take one now. Two more breaths. And imagine me pressing down on your hips. I miss that a lot. So in the space of needing comfort, yes, and for a lot of teachers, I know you're here a way that we deliver um, this comfort. It, it's changing, we're adapting to how we continue to, to give. So call out to the great mother, call out Jema, right? Like how can, I, how can I continue to be compassionate, to be generous? And let's all come back to downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up and back. Step it forward. Warrior two. Good. Sometimes we show up with a lot of fierceness to our practice. But fierceness, uh, like protecting your children, protecting your pets, that's me. That kind of fierceness. Yes? Good. Bring the palms to touch over the head. Good. Look up, look at your thumbs. Cross your right wrist in front of the left and then turn your palms to face one another and press the palms together. It's a like twister. Good. And then bend deeper into your right knee and reverse. Keep the shake in the arms and knee. Oh. You should feel a nice opening in the right side body. Right, if I were here, I'd run my hand up your ribs to extend you a little further. Inhale, two, and exhale. Inhale, one. Beautiful, warrior two, open back up. Extend your arms as if they were coming straight out of your heart. Side angle pose. Right elbow can come on top of the right thigh. Good. Some of you might be warmer than others in which you want to articulate a half bind. Today is all about binds, yes? So I encourage you to try, right? If that's not something you normally try. Good. Sometimes I really love the half bind over the full, you know? So you can pick. If you want the full bind, you can go there. I've done a lot of warming in the shoulders, so. Use your discrimination if you want to go there. We're not coming back if you're wondering. So if you want to go there, go there now. 
inhale two and exhale right welcome the sensation inhale one and exhale good if you're bound option to back up into bound triangle and if you are unbound just come into a half bound triangle or regular triangle pose good and wherever you are right bind yourself to the practice to the action good stay present in noticing how you're breathing it doesn't have to be any more complicated than to be uh, here with yourself one more breath as you exhale look down release the bind if you have it plank pose very quietly Step back plank pose. Cycle through friends. Inhale your left leg back. Quietly step it forward and open up into your warrior two pose. Reach your arms out from the very center of your chest. Bring the palms to touch over the head. I love how you bend your elbows before you do that. Good. And then maybe look up if it's possible on the neck, cross your left wrist over the right, flip your palms so they face one another. And reverse, lean back, bend deeper into that left knee as you reach the right and left fingertips away from your left hip crease. And imagine if I put a finger on your left hip crease right now and I gently press it down. Good. So that you can get that nice deep opening and stretching, right? through all the spaces around the ribs and in between the ribs. One more breath, reach a little further. Warrior two, open up. Come into your side angle pose, pars vakonasana. Option for half bind, full bind here. I encourage you to move in stages. Right, make, move one body part and then pause and breathe and evaluate. And so this, this sequence today was birthed from me uh, having a very small piece of firewood left. And I was very cold. And as I uh, burn this last piece of firewood. I realized how much attention I was paying. You know, I wouldn't even leave it because if I let it go, then that's it. So how can we let that same awareness, right? How can we tune to that in our practice? Keep that fire going. Okay. We're gonna go from here to triangle pose. You can stay bound, you can stay half bound, or you can stay unbound. I have the soundtrack of the rain right now outside and it's absolutely beautiful. Final breath here in your triangle pose. On your next exhale, look down, release the hands down to the floor. Vinyasa. Good. If the ujjayi breath has left the body, maybe invite it back in. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Good. 
and begin to walk your hands back towards your feet, coming into a vertical split at the back of your mat. Ah. Mm -hmm. I find that my breath and my mind gets really bound in this pose. So notice where you are feeling tight, right, physically or emotionally, and see if you can like include that, just loop it in. Like, yes, I am grateful for this. Good. Step that right leg down to meet the left. Chair pose, Utkatasana, bend the knees. Good. Let's bind the hands behind the low back. Right thumb on top. Ah. And forward fold, keep the bind. Beautiful. Chair pose, come back. Keep the arms bound if it's possible. Good. Coming into eagle legs, draw your right knee up and cross it over the left. Good. Those toes can stay down or you can keep them hovering or even bound behind the standing leg. Good. Very carefully coming into archer arms. So release the hands. Bring the left arm up. Bend the left elbow. Good. And, and give yourself patience in this empty space to figure it out working this pose out in your body. Good, so Hana's demoing full archer with bound eagle legs. Inhale two, and exhale. Inhale one, exhale. Release everything. Open the arms, engage in a little back bend here. Ah, let the benefits of your practice rain down. Samastitihi, hands in front of the heart. Recenter. It could be this simple that when we need a little comfort, that we just simply come to this pose. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the arms up, circle them up, maybe look up. Exhale, forward fold. Big inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Downward facing dunk. Inhale, reach your left leg up and back. Walk the hands back, vertical splits. True joy, true santosha comes from the inclusion of discomfort. And in this empty space, the solutions always come. Good, lower the left leg to meet the right. Bend the knees, chair pose. Option to bind the arms around the low back, left thumb on top this time. And keep a sense of spaciousness in the space between your collarbones as you forward fold, unbend the legs and fold. Come back into chair pose. Yeah, with your arms bound, yes? You can hold for opposite forearms, I forgot to say that. Come into eagle legs, cross your left thigh over the right. A lot of like sweet talking slash negotiating with the body. How do we manage this life when our resources are limited? When we don't have our hands to help us, how do we find our way there? Get creative. Adapt. If you like to add the archer arms, bring the right arm up towards the sky, bend the elbow. See if you can walk that right hand down, good. Archer arms, just a reminder that 
uh, that arrow needs to be pulled backwards before it can shoot forward. So even though we feel like we might be taking a couple steps back, we're gaining perspective. We're finding our trajectory. Final breath. And then open up, release the arms, release the legs, reach up, open the heart. Responsible back bend. Samastitihi, hands to the heart. Uh, either close the eyes or look through soft gaze, whatever you're looking at. Feel the pulse and feel the circulation of all your internal systems on a go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Downward facing dog, walk forward. Inhale your right leg, reach it up and back. Warrior one, Vera one. Lovely. We're gonna add a funky archer bind. I did that. I learned this the other day and I said, whoa. So let's do it. You're gonna bring your left arm behind the low back and then coming into half archer with the left. Good. And if you need to, you can use your right arm to help that left um, elbow. Good. Yeah, that's it. Good. And then take your right arm around your throat and then see if you can bind. Fun, huh? Yeah, That's fun, fun, right? <laughs> yeah. And so what I love about this, like, funky archer, right, is that the, there's a sense of uh, binding in the front of the throat. And for me, sometimes I, I say things too quickly. And so for me, this is a reminder to be very careful with my speech, to let things pass through the four gates of speech, right, and to know that uh, there's a sense of a restriction and discipline that is so important for me. So let this pose be a symbol to whatever it's bringing up in you right now while not losing the bend in your right knee. Good. Inhale two. Exhale. One more breath here. Exhale, good, release the pose very slowly. Feel the blood return to everywhere it was restricted. Optional vinyasa or just hang out in down dog for a couple breaths. Inhale, reach your left leg up and back. Sharpen that leg, good. Warrior one, use the exhale to bring that foot forward. Bring the right arm behind the body. Yeah, you can use that other opposite arm to help that elbow move in towards the midline. And when you feel settled, bring that left arm around the throat. Maybe the fingertips touch here. Good. There's a very strong sense of fierceness here. All right, consolidating uh, what we can see in front of us and everything in our past informing how we move forward here all built on the strong foundation of our feet and our legs and our devotion to our practice, right? This is what carries us through with grace every day. Everything has changed and nothing has changed, my friends. Inhale two. Exhale. One more breath here. Make it personal. Make it comforting. And please cycle through your vinyasa.
Adomuka Svanasan. Sorry, did you want a child's pose? <laughs> I mean, that's welcome anytime. Good. Let's take it down. Inhale, right leg up. Low lunge pose. Very sweetly lower that knee down. No dropping the knee. Good. Ah, twisted monkey. Step your left hand to the left. Good. And reach your right arm up. Yeah, good. And you can bend if you would like a nice deep quad stretch. Right? You can bend that left knee, holding for the foot. Right? This is a, a bind, a beautiful bind of sorts here. If you have the foot, right, energetically create some resistance between the hand and the foot. So beautiful, Hana. Wherever you are, curl the heart open a little bit more, right? Energetically, right? With your generosity to give. Inhale to, and exhale. One more breath. Exhale and release the pose. Go back downward facing dog. Take a moment here. If you want to flow, you can flow. Otherwise, you just hang out and let down dog work its magic. Elongating through the front and the back of your chest and of your back around your spine. Good. Lift your left leg. Step it forward. Low lunge. Step your right arm to the right and curl your heart. Yeah. And like be with your breath and uh, work it out. Like this pose always tells me like work it out. Like do the math, do the configuration right? and figure this pose out. There's a lot of fine tuning with the back knee, right? Shifting a little forward, a little back. Right? There's a negotiation with the shoulders. Right? There's a little bit of the bottom shoulder moving back and down. Good. And again, if you have the foot, create a little positive polarity. Two more breaths here. Right, we keep filtering and filtering and distilling and distilling until there is nothing but pure joy and pure light. And let this yoga practice lead you towards that deep sense of joy. And on your next exhale, very gently release the palms. This will be the last opportunity for vinyasa. If you want to take it, take it. We'll all meet in child's pose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, read my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> Good. So bring your hands to your low back and kind of have your palms facing up, but do something with your hands behind your low back, right? In a very gentle bind. Whenever we bring our hands to touch or our hand to foot, we're closing that uh, circuit. We're closing that loop, closed chain, you call it. And when you connect, right, it's like putting that light bulb in the socket. And it just lights up. You know, some of you like to bring your palms to touch and bring your prayer behind your head in child's pose. That is good too. In this moment of comfort, of rest, I call on uh, Jema. I let those, let that calling like, echo out from your heart. Right, let this comfort be a symbol of 
uh, unwrapping this gift of yourself. We bind it up, wrap it up, and then unwrap it. And what do you see on the inside? And let's transition to lie down on your back. And hug your knees in towards your chest. And think, before you go there, think about your favorite spinal twist leg variation, right? Maybe you just keep them side by side. Maybe you cross the leg. Um, I always like watching you guys in this because I see the most amazing variety of recline twists here. Or maybe figure four. So find that leg position and lower your legs to the left. Maybe shifting their hips a little bit to the right. And turn your head away from your legs. And imagine flowing your twist to the other side. Light as a feather, switch side. Please move on to Shabbat. If your phone happens to be nearby, I am live. If not, I'm not.
Palms to touch your heart. And gently press down. Confirmation. I am here. I am breathing. I am joyful. And hug your knees and towards your chest. Make your way as slowly as you need to a seated position. Exhaling our efforts to do. May that light within you burst forth with full-on creativity in a time of restriction and conservation. Om Namaste Namaste.
Thank you. Thank you.